He's come out of nowhere, and we don't know who he is. What do we know about him? He's leading desperate people. So this is a cult? We don't know who he's associated with. He could be creating an army. Or he could be leading them to their death. And the fun question is, who do you think this guy is? I mean, that's that's really the, the, the fun question in the piece. And I think from episode to episode, your opinion on that might change. But I think on a deeper level, I think it, it should challenge every person about why they believe in things and what belief actually is. I think that that's an essential part of the premise in the show. This is a multitude of, of perspectives. This is a global scope that we were looking at that wasn't even specific to a Western point of view and didn't, didn't prescribe to any one belief system. I think what I want them to take away is an, an engagement with the show that then they discuss with whoever they watched it with. I think it's not a singular experience, this show. I think it's, you know, in the old-fashioned sense, I think it has a lot of water cooler kind of moments to it. I think every episode ends with a question, and the question is always back at the audience. It forces you to look at your own belief system, and I think that's what makes the show so compelling. And also that it doesn't make a judgment on who this man is. Each person makes a judgment. Each character does, and I think that's one of the major takeaways that viewers will have. If you think about the very last scene in the whole of the uh, season, which people would have to watch to know, um, it really throws the question very directly back at you. How far will this new movement spread? I'm going to find out everything about you. Bigger than what you can imagine.